It's crowdsourcing, it's citizen science. Conservation FIT is an attempt to embrace the huge potential that exists in the world today for ordinary people as well as conservation biologists to gather data. Until now we've been very much limited by gathering data where professional biologists go and look for it. Um, conservation T FIT is going to use ordinary smartphones that are hugely accessible now across the world and drones to capture aerial data to bring in orders of magnitude more data about where species are and their numbers and distribution. They form the bedrock, the foundation of any conservation strategy. If you're going to try to find out how your species is performing at any one time, that is the information that you need because you need to be able to track that information to be able to say, is your strategy working or not? So the website is actually designed specifically for this. Let's you we need have a prop. A, this is the prop. So first of all, you need one of these. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a person who doesn't have one of these and prefers an old-fashioned camera, that's great too. And out you go into the field and pick up some footprint images. And we have a protocol that explains exactly how to do that on the website. There's a, a page that says how to use this site, how to collect images, how to upload them. Um, and we're partnering with a fantastic organisation called iNaturalist, which was also hatched in Stuart's lab. Um, and they actually provide the form for all the data to be uploaded and mapped, and you can compare your data with everybody else's data around the world. You can download the data, as we will be doing for the analytics, um, and then we'll be able to devise the algorithms and send them off into the field where they're needed. One of the most valuable ways in which this could be used is for giant pandas. We can't tell males from females, we assume they can. Um, we don't really have a very good idea of how many there are. But what uh, Zoe and Skye and, uh, and, and Dr. Bin Bin Lee, who has just recently got her PhD from the Nicholas School, uh, have shown is we can identify 95% of individual pandas from their paw prints. That's going to be a really valuable technique to allow the Chinese authorities to count pandas. Some of the areas that we work in are hugely inaccessible. I mean, for example, in northeast China, in these frozen wastelands where you get the Amur tiger. Now, in order to survey these areas, you literally have to go on foot, and you've got three feet of snow. Now, imagine if you can deploy a drone to basically say, is there a tiger trail there? It's as simple as that. And initially, what we're trying to do, we're working at different levels. Initially, what we'd like to do is to use drones for surveying, just to basically pick up trails. Next, what we'd like to do is to be able to say, you've picked up the trail, can we identify the species from the trail? And of course, then comes the icing on the cake, that can we get a drone to get down, um, a hexacopter, for example, to get down close enough to be able to get a high, fairly high resolution image of a footprint. So we hope that everybody will be excited about this project and visit conservationfit.org. Um, take the site for a test drive, um, perhaps go and take some footprints and upload them, register with us um, and become part of the community to help us get those data that we need.